Hello and welcome back to another episode of me trying to lose weight. So, it is week four, I think? Or three? The, the title will tell you. I'm probably wrong, but the title will tell you. So this week, um, I didn't work out on the Sunday or the Saturday. And I've started to uh, have some sweets. Because I wanted to. Because I could. So I had a sweet. It was very delightful. Um, but it, my weight shot back up to 89. No, no, it didn't. 88. But I've got it back down to 86.9. Which is good. Because that's still the amount that I was on track for losing. So I'm back on track again. And I've been, once again, cutting down on fizzy. Um, as much as I can. Uh, what I've been doing now is I've been just getting a whole bottle of water. Throwing it in the fridge and keeping it cool. Because then it's a lot easier to just have water on its own when it's a lot colder. I've done that as well. Um, my workouts have now been got have gone from 15 minutes to uh, 25 to 30 minutes. So I've been doing that also. And I thought I would start kind of including some recipes that I do in these videos. Um, some kind of quick like recipes that you can try at home that are really simple. I don't know if anyone wants that. No one asked for it. But I was making one of my favourite recipes last night. Which is like loads of broccoli with chilli. And I thought I would kind of show you how to do it yourself at home. It's really simple. You only need like a few ingredients. And I'm going to kind of include that near the end, maybe, or in a bit. But yeah, that's what I've done so far. Um, this week is obviously a bank holiday, so I relaxed a bit yesterday and didn't do exercise. So no exercise Sunday or Monday. Today is Tuesday, which is the normal upload video. So already this morning, um, before doing this, I have done an exercise which was 40 minutes. Which is the longest I've done in a while of just constantly... Uh, doing some running here and then doing some incline uh, run uh, really fast walking um, for quite a bit so that's what I've done today um, as I said like a lot of the time stress will get in the way of doing things or stress is the biggest cause to having uh, extra snacks and stuff so what I've done is I filled up my uh, grocery cupboard with popcorn um, low-fat popcorn because that's really good for you snacks um, chocolate bars but they're like healthy ones they're like less than 890 calories for one of those and I've also bought lots and lots of Greek yogurt because that stuff is delicious have a little bit of honey with that Mwah, it's so good so I've been having that as a dessert as opposed to like going straight to like maybe a, a really uh, really kind of sugary snack and stuff if I just get some plain Greek yogurt throw some banana in there or some apple, do a bit of honey, it kind of gives you the same kind of feel and you're not consuming as many calories as you would with something which is just artificial. So that is what I've done for today. Um, I'm probably going to add a little voiceover for the next clip, but thank you for sticking around and I want to know about your journeys. How much have you lost? How much have you gained? What is your hardest, the hardest part for you about losing weight and what is the easiest? And yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. So until next week, um, which will be my kind of weigh in for where I've come so far. I think I'm kind of impressed so far with what I've done. I mean, I started at 88.9 and now I'm 86.9. So I've gone down quite a bit in, in a month. So I, I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's, it's a quicker decline than I've seen in the past. In the past, I'd struggle a lot and um, kind of go between the way up and down up and down and stuff so yeah that's what's happened so far and i will just kind of carry on doing this and i'll see you guys next week and i hope you enjoyed the little recipe thing i made please tell me if you did enjoy that and you want to see um there's this amazing salmon i do as well and other recipes if you want to see any of those feel free to ask because i'll do those as well <laughs> all right then thank you for watching and well stick around for this next bit bye hello like, this is the post stuff, so this is me talking to you about what I'm doing right here. Okay, just ignore me in the in just doing stuff. I'll tell you how it goes down. Right, so we have the broccoli. We have washed it, and we've just put some virgin oil down in the pan. That's all we've done so far. Now, I'm probably, I've probably gone to the cupboard to try to find some spices or honey, which is some of the ingredients that I'm gonna need. So... Where did, where did I go? Where, where am I? Hello? You can see a shadow. 
You can see, ah, oh, there you go, right, there you go, that's what I was talking about, they are chilli flakes. And now I've run off to go get like a little glass ramekin, and also some honey. You can use any honey, but this kind of honey, clear honey, is a lot easier to mix with everything else. So, what you want to do is get some of that honey, and you want to put it in the little ramekin. You can put it in a bowl, it depends, whatever is easiest for you. So I'm putting some honey in there, and spreading that out. Then I'm going to throw some chilli flakes. You see those? Boom, boom, there they go. Whoa, that's too many, but maybe you don't need that much. I, I have quite, quite spicy stuff, so do not worry. So I'm heading back to go get something else. What am I getting? Oh, I know. I'm getting some lemon, hopefully. Lemon juice? Ah, lemon juice and butter. Because the butter or margarine will stick to the broccoli and make life a lot easier. And now I'm realizing, oh my gosh, I don't have any utensils. What am I doing with my life? Oh dear me, gotta go get those utensils. All right, we've got we've got a spoon, we've got a knife. Oh, I was so not prepared for this. So what we're gonna do is take the butter, put the butter in with the honey and the chili flakes. You want to sprinkle it all round. You want to make sure it picks everything up because this is going to go straight into the broccoli and it's going to make the main flavour, the main spice and the main goodness. So yeah, I'm kind of making like a paste. Depends what you want to do. Sometimes people tend to, what's the word, just just throw it on. And I do that sometimes because either way it's going to, it's going to melt on the hob. Uh, yeah. So this recipe takes about, I don't know, for 7 to 12 minutes maybe. Depends how crispy you want your broccoli. So I'm going to use one of these, which is like a glazing brush. You can use anything that is easiest for you. Something that can just kind of get onto the broccoli and stuff like that. Uh, that's what I'm choosing to use. So you put that all on. Add some to the pan. As I said, you just want it to melt all together. And that is literally all the ingredients you use for this. And I'm just trying to get it on everywhere Come on, why is it not happening? So yeah, there you go. Bring the heat up a little bit. You don't want it too much. And use a spatula and just kind of like scoop that around a little bit. And that is the end of it, really. You might have some of the chives, chives, chilies left. But you don't need to use them. And I'm probably going to show you... Oh, yes, yes, I forgot. Um, if you want to add a little bit more oil, feel free to. It just helps add more of the, the uh, you know, flavouring in. So if you want to do that, feel free to do that. Um, sometimes everything gets a bit too sticky and burns. So that's why I added a bit more oil. And that's it really. As I said, 7, 6 to 11 minutes. Just keep doing this. Make sure you have the heat not on too high. You don't want to burn the, the end of the broccoli. Uh, so in stores, this is called um, broccoli stem. Um, I don't know what it would be in America. I don't know if they sell it like this. They might, hopefully they do. But you can also do this with asparagus if you can't find any broccoli. Um, it's meant to have quite a nice flavour as well. I haven't tried it, but people I know have done the same recipe on the asparagus. And it's worked. So I'm probably going to show you a close-up now. And then that's probably the end of the video. But thanks for sticking by. Let me just... Let me just... Uh... And there you go, look at it, look at that beautiful broccoli, and it's pretty good for you. Broccoli has lots of good vitamins and stuff that you need. And you can have this beside salmon, beside beef, it is one of those vegetables that goes with everything. So feel free to try it out for yourself.